If anybody said he is subsidizing anything, he is a fraud. Dear citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Muhammad Buhari administration is planning to increase the price of oil to 340 naira per liter. Now, think about that. This administration met oil at 87 naira per liter, and it's now 161 naira per liter. They want to increase it to 340 naira per liter. Now, think about that. They say they are doing this because they can no longer afford subsidy. Now, if you recall, this man, Muhammad Buhari, during the campaign said for subsidy was a scam. He accused former President Jonathan of running the scam and said there was nothing like false subsidy. Actually, what his exact words were, if anybody says that they are paying false subsidy, they are lying. Now, he's paying more than twice the amount of false subsidy that the former administration paid. He's actually spending 250 billion naira paying false subsidy. Now, they want to say they are taking away false subsidy. Now, their claim is that if they do that, they will pay 5,000 naira to 40 million Nigerians every month. Now, to show you how dishonest they are, if they pay 5,000 naira to 40 million Nigerians, how much is that? You do the calculation. Do the calculation. You can see that these people are being dishonest. That's going to be more than the amount that they say that they are pay paying for false subsidy. So, if you want to save money, and you want to remove false subsidy and then you want to cushion the effects of the false subsidy by paying 5,000 naira to 40 million Nigerians every month. I mean, you can just see that, that these guys are just pulling the wool over your eyes. If you allow them increase the price of oil to 340 naira per liter, what's going to happen is that the price of food is going to shoot up already. It's astronomical. It's going to shoot up some more. Inflation is going to go up. You know, before this administration came in, we had single-digit inflation. Now we have double-digit inflation. It's going to become like Zimbabwe and Venezuela. What's going to happen is that you and your family will not be able to feed properly. Your children will be malnourished. You won't be able to move about because the cost of transport is going to be exorbitant. So watch this video. Watch this video, you know. And then after you watch this video, contact your senator. Contact your member of the House of Representatives and tell them that if they support the removal of this false subsidy and the increase of uh, the price of oil to 340 naira, that you are going to ensure that they are not going to come back. Listen, if they want to stop leakages, there are things that they can do. The National Assembly itself cost about 150 billion naira under Buhari. It wasn't like that under the previous administration. Under Buhari, it cost about 150 billion naira because Buhari wants them to keep on approving his loans. He's borrowed so much. He met a debt profile of 11 trillion. Now Nigeria is owing about 40 trillion. So that's why. So they can cut leakages there, about 150 billion naira at the National Assembly. They don't need that. How many are they? They are less than 500. Buhari and Osibajo themselves, they cost the federal government about 25 billion naira annually to maintain. You can cut costs there. Buhari has 10 presidential jets. He can sell them and use commercial jets or he can keep one, sell nine. They can cut leakages there. So I am asking you, watch this video that you're about to see and after doing that, contact your senator or your House of Reps member. You can do that by going to the National Assembly's website. Do not allow them do this to the average Nigerian. Thank you for watching. God bless you. But what cast my mind was the yesterday's comment by the Minister of Finance of Nigeria, who said she's going to come up with a plan to give 5,000 naira to 40 million Nigerians in place of petroleum subsidy. Now you ask yourself, who is advising this administration? Now, if you say you are going to give 40 million people 5,000 monthly, that means you'll be giving 2.4 trillion naira every year. And that's sufficient to continue with their petroleum subsidy, even in the situation of under petroleum on their recovery. And it's not only 40 million people that need the petroleum subsidy. Who are these 40 million? The people that need petroleum subsidy, they are far more than 40 million. You have to pay 100 million Nigerians, 130 million Nigerians, 5,000 every month. And this is a gateway for a new set of corruption. Because even if you give people 5,000 naira every month, 
the monster you are grooming in form of inflation will come and swallow the 5,000 naira you are giving them every month. Who tell you that if you give people 5,000, they will use it to buy petrol? They will use it to buy food? That you made it very expensive? This is a very bad policy. There is huge inconsistency. You cannot remove petroleum subsidy without fulfilling certain conditions. You have to have a working refinery before you can start thinking of removing uh, subsidy. How many times this administration told us that they have removed petroleum subsidy? They increased petrol price how many times? When they came, petrol price per litre was 87 naira per litre. Now how much do we buy? 163. And they are still thinking of removing petrol and subsidy again. And now the NNPC boss is saying that we're going to buy petrol at 300 plus or 200 plus naira per litre. This inconsistency is too much. You cannot feed Nigerians. What you need for what Nigerians need is give them the environment for them to thrive. You cannot afford to feed Nigerians like mommy and children. Government is not like mommy that will be feeding Nigerians like babies. When you cannot secure the country, when you cannot ensure the safety of travelers traveling from Kaduna to Abuja, what sort of business environment are you providing for the Nigerians? You are asking them to sit at home, you give them 5,000 naira to feed them. How many more 5,000 naira do you need every month to feed Nigerians? Nigerians don't need your 5,000 naira. Nigerians want you cannot provide us peace in eight years. What's the use of this administration? So I think the inconsistency is so conspicuous there to see. And that what I see from this 5,000 is another gateway to feed the corruption.